All right, as promised, uh, I want to show you how to replace a mailbox. And uh, so this is one that's ready to go. One thing to remember about these is um, plastic flags are actually against the ACC rules. So uh, this one needs to go just by virtue of that. Uh, one thing you want to remember is they put in these galvanized um, nuts, but honestly, they are rusty. Um, and so I'm going to replace them with a stainless steel nut. And that's going to, I mean, a screw rather, not nut. Um, and that's going to really uh, not have any kind of uh, rust on it over time, which is good. Um, it just, uh, it's just one of those things, you know, if you take a little extra care, you can keep it looking good for a long time. And I use a, a black coated, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll show it to you right now. It's a black coated, hopefully you're seeing this, um, the screw is a metal screw and as it's already been painted black so that's kind of nice and then uh it's a number eight put that close to the camera hopefully a number eight by a half inch and that's all you need now some people say well what a bit wait a minute i need a self-tapping screw and that's what these were but you've already tapped it so you already have metal screws in there um if you have any trouble at all i just back them out and, and push them back in and they go in just great so uh, what am I going to do? This is going to be the tool that I use for these screws because they have Phillips head. But what's cool about these little galvanized screws is they have the same size socket as any screwdriver. So, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And do be careful because I have broken off one of these things before. Um, so if they're, if they're really galled up in there, you want to be very easy. You don't want to manhandle it and just ratchet it off because then you're buying a different tool, whoops, at Lowe's, and that's going to be uh, a lot more work. So if you can, you know, just gently take these screws out. And that's what I'm working on right now. So while I'm doing that, I'll just mention to you that, um, you know, again, this was my son's little biz, uh, Mailbox Mitch. And it was something that he wanted to do during the stay-at-home order. And, uh, and I kind of just had a secondary mission of just saying, you know, a lot of our neighborhood needs box repair. So even when he went back to Raleigh to work at the kids' gym, I just said, I'll keep doing this. And um, people were like, well, why are you giving away your, your secrets? It's like, well, my ultimate goal is to just help the neighborhood look better. And improve the boxes uh, in the neighborhood. So and that, that's why I'm showing you exactly how to do this. Uh, whether you DIY it or whether you just um, uh, do it uh, through us. I'm, I mean, I'm happy to come out and do this on weekends. I do have a regular job. Uh, so this is not my you know, primary source of income. This is actually, my wife said she would do it as a side business. So I said, that's fine. Happy, happy for you to do that and I'll I'll go do the work on the weekends. Um, I happen to be off today. Um, I was affected by COVID because uh, I got a two week furlough. Um, furlough is an, a fancy word for an unpaid vacation. So this gives me something to do. And what's been cool is just, you know, getting to know the neighbors in this neighborhood. We have an absolute great neighborhood and I've uh, met people that have moved here from all over. This family here is, is from Boston. And even though, um, they're Pats fans. We're okay with them. Okay. Uh, no, seriously, it's been it's been really good, and, and we've got we've just got great neighbors. I've gotten to know a lot of folks through doing this. So this has been, been more hobby than work, as far as I'm concerned, and um, it's been a lot of fun. So again, number eights by half inch. You can get these at Lowe's. They're black painted, but they are stainless steel. And make sure you get stainless. So look, it's four screws, and you are out, friends. The whole thing. Oops, I just dropped the screws. I'm gonna grab those. And uh, I'll be back when I'm ready to show you exactly how to prepare the mailbox for this plate that uh, the mailbox is gonna go on. Thanks.